Where are my people? Where are my people? I get better updates. This one is a breaking news that when I discovered, I was shocked. Imagine me being shocked. Then what more of you? When I finish telling you about this, you will be asking yourself questions. What does Nigeria really want? What is Nigeria trying to show the rest of the world? And what is Nigeria trying to show Africa? You see the kind of cars I'm showing you now? You see the kind of cars? Are you seeing? Nigerians, the manufacturer. <laughs> let, me use, let me speak like a Ghanaian there. Nigerians, the manufacturer. This, this, this small, beautiful kind of spaceship kind of cars. Some kind of designs that we always saw in movies. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing what these guys are coming out with in Nigeria. It is absolutely mind-blowing. See, one thing I've always told people eh, is once any technology enter Nigeria, the rest of the world should remove their hands from it because Nigerians will now start competing amongst themselves. How will I modify it? How will I show my own creativity on this thing? How will I change it to show that I'm the best? I've always said this. And that is exactly what Nigerians can do. I've said it many times. By the time the world started developing electric bikes, electric vehicles, immediately the technology entered Nigeria. I know say Nigerians go then show Africa and show the rest of the world that we are Nigerians. Nobody can compete with us in terms of creativity, in terms of bringing out the best quality. As you can see, Nigerians move from just manufacturing electric vehicles to becoming one of the best designers in the industry. To the point where Nigeria electric vehicles like the small cars I'm showing you, we make you ask yourself question, who came up with this idea? Who watched the movie, Spaceship, or what kind of movie did the person watch? To now say, this kind of car, that is what my company wants to be producing in Nigeria. This is what I want the world to be seeing. And look at it, guy, it's a reality. It is absolutely a reality. One of my biggest prayers now that if you are watching these videos, yeah, and you have any access to this NEV electric vehicles in Abuja, because this electric vehicles company is located in Abuja, Abeg. If you get any connection to them, help me. I won't go there. I won't go record these videos, record the factory, do show the world that this thing is real. So that you people will see with your koro koro eyes the procedure, the manufacturing, you will see these cars as they are making them. You get? So now that one will help me. In fact, any manufacturing company in Nigeria, any production company in Nigeria that you know, is it innocent vehicles? Any of them that you can just say, Ajim, I know the person. At least I will call you. My brother is the manager. Or I will, I will link you up in one way to go there. Please, because my trip to Nigeria is next month, March. Early March within Nigeria. The pepper, we will go pepper then. <laughs> we never start now. We never start. So I am already making this an, announce, an announcement. March, get ready, guys. Get ready, prepared. We are going to do wonders this time around, this March. So calm down yourselves and start preparing with information, with access, whatever way you can prepare to join me on this time, on this trip this time around. Many of you wanted to join me on my first trip, but you did not succeed. This second trip, I'm telling you early enough now. So we're not going to prepare on ourselves. So. Let us talk about this NEV electric vehicles. NEV, that's the name. You can go to Facebook and check them. You can go to Google and check them. NEV electrics. NEV electrics. They are in Abuja. You will be marveled. You get. But for now, watch this video and learn more about this company. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that the NEV electric motors electric vehicles has currently just manufactured i mean a built uh, they don't build them they just built the biggest electric vehicles manufacturing factory in africa the biggest electric vehicle producing company in africa so it's a factory see this is not an assembly plant in nigeria we have multiple assembly plants where owners of like people where they deal in cars, where those those who sell cars, they have assembly plants where they bring in cars from left and right and assemble them in Nigeria pieces. You get? But we are not talking about these kind of things here. We're talking about the largest electric vehicle manufacturing factory in Africa. 
So whether you go to Egypt, go to Morocco, go to South Africa, go to go anywhere you can go in Africa, you will not find any factory that manufactures electric vehicles that is bigger than the NEV factory located in Abuja, Nigeria. You're not going to find any. That one I guarantee you for free. They are the number one, the champion. Hello. So that's how massive and how big they are. And one thing I notice about them, the government of Nigeria recognized them. Yes. The government of Nigeria is even supporting them. I was like, wow. So finally, the government is now looking into creativity in the country, into funding Nigerians who want to step up with the tech, with the automobile, with so many other aspects. In the past, all the money was put into subsidy for fuel, subsidy for dollars, subsidy so that Nigerians can be owning 20 cars, 20 cars from Japan, 20 cars from China. And now that was what was happening. When they were putting all the government money was going for subsidy, fuel was 200 naira. People were like, oh, it's okay. some were even complaining. Meanwhile, all that money that they are putting for subsidy to, for people to go and be buying cars in China, buying cars in Japan, buying American cars, buying Germany cars. To come and be paroling them all around Nigeria Street using cheap fuel for 200 naira, where the government is paying for the fuel. Can you imagine? That's what the government was doing. Now that he removed the subsidy, that's why you see things are coming up everywhere. Because now money can be spent to develop the country. Lithium factory is coming up. You saw the video. But now, other Nigeria is now diverting from fuel. As in, all this kind of thing is what every country needs because. All the money was about oil, fuel, oil, 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 oil. When the economy is focused only on oil, what if something happened to the oil now? Economy will just like what happened. But now that the money has been reduced into other aspects, other areas, now we are seeing industrialization is booming. Manufacturing companies are rising, building the best in Africa, the largest in Africa. That is what a proper government should be doing. That is what a proper country should be doing. Not carrying all the money, putting in subsidy for fuel so that big men can be taking vacation to America, spending Nigerian money as they like. You get the point now? So for me, eh, this is one of the best things that ever happened to Nigeria. Removal of subsidy. And I think that it will change Nigeria's economy forever. Forever. One man in Nigeria is having like 20 cars. Yeah. And... Those cars are not small cars, so V8 engines. V that means if it leaves Lagos uh, mainland to island and come back, it don't consume like 20 liters of fuel. Who is paying for the fuel? The government. He owns like 20 cars, SUVs. That's what's happening. Now everybody they see pepper. <laughs> own SUV now. Before this, by, you will buy for 1,000 naira. By the time you go to, to mainland and island and come back, you will think twice if you will go again tomorrow. <laughs> now money is going for other activities. This is exactly how it should be. If you want to buy SUVs, get better money to buy for it. That is it. So now that the money is going for these kind of things, that's why you see how all these manufacturing plants are just popping up. Popping up left and right. Building like the biggest factory in Africa, this is shocking. This is absolutely mind blowing. And when the government is supporting this kind of activities, that means the diversification of the economy becomes a real thing. So that industrialization will now become another sector of revenue for the country. You get the point now. So that's the beauty of Nigeria right now for me, man. I love how it's going. I just love it. And I'm so much, so much uh, assured that. The trillion dollar economy will be hit in less than no time. Before you know, Nigeria will be a trillion dollar economy. The first ever trillion dollar economy in Africa. We go blow the news, so people go Allah, people no go believe I bet it is gonna happen. You get the point now. So this NEV electric vehicles manufacturing factory is not just about building some particular kind of electric vehicles. They are building buses. You will see bus that they build up. You will see the kind of small cars I showed you that they build up. All kind of vehicles, they are there. Just making sure that they are, you know, at the same level with every other company in this world. Now, they are looking at China as their competition. They are looking at America as their competition. They are looking at Dubai. That is where the competition is for them. So, they are no longer looking at Africa now. And Nigerians are capable. Nigerians get money where we are. So, for me, I'm very, very much assured that 
Nigerians will buy these electric vehicles. Nigerians will be parading in them. Like I went to Abuja, I showed you guys electric vehicles. I showed you Teslas. People were saying, oh, Nigeria, they build electric vehicles. Where they want charge them? Where they want? I just laugh. <laughs> I just laugh. So you think all these down with the factories, all the factories in Nigeria, how did they, 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 they survive without electricity? Some people don't get sense, to be honest. Some people are just brain limited. Because the kind of factories that are in Nigeria, if they were to be, be based on this electricity issue, they would not have been surviving. So just come down yourself if you are one of those thinking like that. All these electric vehicles, they are well okay. They are being charged and they are living their best life in Nigeria as I'm talking to you right now. So I'm not surprised to see NEB trying to invest more and more into that sector. It is because there is money in that particular sector and Nigerians are willing to buy. Shout out to NEB, man. You guys are the biggest in Africa. I mean, that's a big one. Nigeria and Africa should be proud of these guys because they are actually representing the continent and putting us on the map. It is what it is. And like I said, guys, if you can link me up, Please make sure you do so we can go there and do some real life videos and show the world that this is what we are talking about. It is what it is. Your boy, I just you on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.